Hello, it's Brian Shannon from alphatrends.net. Today's Thursday, the 2nd of October, 2008, and we had a continuation of the downtrend, which uh, shouldn't come as a surprise. The path of least resistance is lower, and after getting smashed on Monday on heavy volume, we had uh, uh, a rally uh, that lasted two days. Uh, Tuesday was up pretty good, and yesterday we saw a lot of choppy action, and today the sellers returned uh, pretty much where they're supposed to when you have a downtrend, which is at prior level of support uh, you, you you tend to see that those levels act as resistance and that's what we had here again today uh, the risks have been high I've been stressing that over and over again throughout the year uh, I'll try not to repeat myself too much here but it really defense wins the game and uh, a lot of people criticize that when the market's going up but you have to be protective of every last dollar whether it's uh, profits you know once that money's in your account it's your money and you have to protect it just as hard as any dollar that you actually, you know, supposedly earned uh, through a job because, do, you know, market dollars are hard earned as well. Today we saw that this level that I'd said had would be the important level that the market had to hold above. We saw that break early on, and as that broke, then the selling uh, uh, c continued. If you had seen my uh, blog earlier in the day, about a half hour after the market opened, I had a chance to, uh, to to point that out as well here that, you know, the headline said headed for a retest, and I said at least there's no such thing as down too much if there's more willing or even forced sellers out there. And I think a lot of forced selling is occurring. We're going to probably hear more stories of failed hedge funds and that sort of thing. But the uh, the market obviously continued lower later on in the afternoon. I uh, you know posed the question, is there reason to hope? And a lot of times you want there to be a, a market turnaround. But basically when prices are heading lower, there's no such thing as down too much and that you have to manage risk that uh, the, the trends were still lower. And today we saw uh, that we did get a test of the lows in the S&P 500. I don't know if it hit it exactly to the penny. I kind of uh, misdrew that. Friday or Monday's low was 110.97. Today we saw it at 111.06. I'd say that that's uh, close enough to call it a test. But, you know, no end in sight right now. There's there's no point picking a bottom. Here's where uh, this market still has the potential to go based on Fibonacci uh, of a uh, two-thirds retracement of the 2002 lows up to the 2000. Uh, uh, seven highs uh, in the SPY and that's again down near about 108 so just because it's down a lot doesn't mean it can't keep going lower and uh, you know Wall, Wall Street and, and uh, Washington uh, you know are, are in a mess basically and it's uh, it's going to take a lot of time still to heal it there's likely to be more big one two three day rallies along the way uh, like we've seen throughout this bear market but uh, the, the bottom is going to take quite a while to to be put in here so if you're looking you know at, at buying the bottom it's just not there yet the uh, uh, really the uh, Russell 2000 this is one of the uh, the, the one market group that's pr pretty much held up the best we had seen that this $64 level had been an important level throughout the year today we came down tested and failed to hold there on an intraday basis you see that we had actually closed below it and again they they're not taking those uh, numbers out but here's that uh, you know here's uh, yesterday's uh, lows that uh, basically breaking below that I'd said you know below 60 uh, 66 uh, 20 if it breaks that then it's likely that we're gonna head down towards $64 a share we see the $64 level failed in here and looking at the uh, monthly time frame we've got to look at this as a uh, big head and shoulders uh, pattern now it doesn't mean that it has to go uh, you know, attain the uh, bearish objective which would be found you know somewhere down fifty dollars a share but it's certainly possible and something that you cannot rule out just because again it's down a lot doesn't mean it can't keep going lower ask yourself are you better off today than you were economically six years ago when the SPY was down at, at 80 bucks a share here we are at 111 so I mean are we be that better off is this economy in better shape than it was in 2002 a lot of funds seem to be anti Answering quickly uh, that 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 question when when you see stocks like John Deere uh, declining from you know 95 to 40 in the matter of just uh, a couple months, Arch Coal, you know uh, AK Steel lose you know 75 down to 20 dollars a share. It's tempting and, and you can make some money trying to play bounces on these one minute charts, but obviously the path of least resistance continues lower. And if you're going to be playing the contrarian game, you have to be super super fast 
with real tight stops and, and uh, steely nerves and, and a lot of uh, you know and, and good discipline. Uh, so the IWM obviously is in big trouble. Gold didn't offer any help as far as a, a, a safety haven. Haven. It's back down to the 50-day moving average. The 50-day moving average is declining. Maybe it's going to find support in here. But uh, you know, gold remains in trouble. And you have to ask: Does does gold lead the uh, gold equities, or do the the gold stocks uh, lead? Um, Lead the uh, lead the metal itself, and sometimes it's the the metal first. Yesterday, I had pointed out that maybe getting above here, we could call this an inverted head and shoulders. I think you can uh, kiss that pattern goodbye, and it's good to recognize these things, but you don't trade on them until you get confirmation. And once you have confirmation, you don't just blindly put your money into it either. Risk management is always job number one. But this GDX, you know, got smashed uh, yesterday. I pointed out uh, FCX. Um, as far as you know, one of the you know Freeport, Mac, Moran, Copper, and Gold, and that got hit real hard again today. So it just seems to be no safety haven anywhere in this market. Oil was down again today. The USO continues in its downtrend. Natural gas continues to you know had a bad day today. Maybe you can make a, ma a case that it's uh, neutralizing in here, but a neutral market isn't one that you want to buy either because you have the risk of time and you have the risk of surprises because the primary trend is represented by the longer term moving averages show that there's still distribution of this going on and that uh, it's, it's just it's not clear to enter yet uh, the semiconductors new low in here as well this group uh, looks like maybe it's heading down all the way to the 2002 lows uh, it, it seems you know it's getting closer every day obviously we're still a, a ways off but uh, you know, first put you know potential support in here that may get defended is this twenty dollar level and then we have those uh, uh, you know spike lows down here at uh, you know under eighteen dollars a share there's just really no place to hide basically accepting cash and cash is a position it allows you to be objective and I've been stressing going home with cash every single evening because it again it allows you to be objective and and, and more importantly it, it you're not going to get hurt in cash uh, you could make an argument against that as well, uh, given you know all the failures of the banks and that sort of thing. But theoretically, you can't get hurt in cash. Uh, the Nasdaq 100, you know, yesterday I'd pointed out that we'd seen diminishing volume on this rally in here, and it, uh, it it remained a very vulnerable market to sellers. It broke below yesterday's low in here early on. We've got uh, you know we're at lower lows in here. Um, and it's just there's there's really nothing in here indicating that there's a uh, that, that there's a bounce coming in the short term. If 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 we get a bounce, it'll likely be a surprise. It'll be a big gap higher, and uh, maybe it runs a few days. But uh, these these problems just don't fix themselves very quickly. It's the same thing as any bear market. It's different set of problems. But uh, you know, even in 2001, look at the magnitude of this rally from from third you know under 30 up to. 45, but then we saw lower lows in here and you can say well that's because of this or because of that it's always a different set of headlines but the, in the end the markets are driven based on this cyclical rhythm and by human nature and human nature repeats which is why technical analysis works